In 2012, Japanese biologist Shinya Yamanaka received part of the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine. It was awarded to him for the discovery of a number of proteins capable of altering the configuration of ordinary, everyday cells, turning them into superuniverse stem cells, which almost certainly have many more therapeutic applications than have been discovered so far. More than a decade later, a pair of American experts reported on the processes in which these protein shakes, known as Yamanaki factors, were used in gene therapy, which in laboratory conditions had a very interesting effect on mice. These studies, explained Matt Caberline, a scientist at the University of Washington, in the journal Science, use reprogramming factors to reverse epigenetic changes that occur during aging, an effect that could potentially one day significantly extend human life expectancy or even reverse the time of old age. Of course, the technology is still in its infancy, no pun intended, but the results of the twin studies are amazing. One of them, on the Bioxiv website conducted by the biotechnology company Rejuvenate Bio from San Diego, California, claims that with the help of such therapy it was possible to double the life expectancy of elderly mice. Another study, cell, conducted by the somewhat controversial Harvard geneticist David Sinclair, confirmed Sinclair's hypothesis that aging is associated with a certain type of DNA degradation, and reversed some of these effects by restoring degradation using Yamanaki factors. Technology has a long way to go before it can be used as a potential source of youth, but these early results show that the potential is real. In 2012, Japanese biologist Shinya Yamanaka was awarded a portion of the Nobel Prize in Physiology and Medicine for his groundbreaking discovery in the field of stem cell research. Yamanaka's work focused on reprogramming ordinary cells to become induced pluripotent stem cells, IPSCs, which have the potential to revolutionize regenerative medicine. Yamanaka's research, conducted at Kyoto University, was aimed at finding a way to create stem cells without the need for embryos, which had been a controversial issue in the field of stem cell research. By identifying specific factors that could reprogram adult cells into a pluripotent state, Yamanaka was able to develop a method for generating IPSCs from a patient's own cells. This breakthrough had significant implications for personalized medicine, as it offered the possibility of creating patient-specific stem cells for use in regenerative therapies. The key to Yamanaka's success was the identification of four transcription factors, October 3 quarters, SOX2, KLF4, and CMYC, that could induce the reprogramming of adult cells into pluripotent stem cells. These factors work by activating genes responsible for maintaining the pluripotent state resulting in the conversion of ordinary cells into a state similar to that of embryonic stem cells. This discovery not only provided a new approach to stem cell research, but also opened up a new frontier in regenerative medicine. Stem cells have the unique ability to differentiate into various cell types in the body, making them a valuable resource for treating a wide range of diseases and injuries. With the development of IPSC technology, Researchers now have the opportunity to create patient-specific stem cells for use in cell replacement therapies. This has the potential to revolutionize the treatment of diseases such as Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, diabetes, and spinal cord injuries, among others. In addition to their therapeutic potential, IPSCs also offer new opportunities for disease modeling and drug discovery. By generating IPSCs from patients with genetic diseases, researchers can study the underlying mechanisms of these diseases and test potential treatments in a personalized context. This has the potential to accelerate the development of new therapies and improve patient outcomes. Since Yamanaka's discovery, IPSC technology has rapidly advanced with researchers around the world working to harness the potential of these cells for a wide range of applications. In 2012, Yamanaka and British scientist John Gordon were jointly awarded the Nobel Prize in Physiology and Medicine for their pioneering work in stem cell research. 
This recognition not only highlighted the importance of Yamanaka's discovery, but also underscored the potential of IPSC technology to revolutionize the field of regenerative medicine. Looking to the future, the field of stem cell research continues to hold great promise for the development of new therapies and treatments for a wide range of diseases. The discovery of induced pluripotent stem cells has opened up new avenues for personalized medicine, disease modeling, and drug discovery, offering hope for patients around the world. With ongoing research and innovation, the potential of IPSC technology to transform the field of regenerative medicine is vast, and the impact of Yamanaka's groundbreaking discovery is sure to be felt for many years to come. In 2012, Japanese biologist Shinya Yamanaka was awarded a portion of the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine for his groundbreaking discovery of a series of proteins capable of altering the configuration of ordinary, everyday cells, transforming them into super-versatile stem cells. These induced pluripotent stem cells, IPSCs, hold the potential for a wide range of therapeutic applications, far beyond what has been discovered thus far. Yamanaka's research focused on reprogramming adult somatic cells into stem cells that closely resemble embryonic stem cells. This breakthrough not only offered a new approach to the study and treatment of diseases, but also challenged the previously held notion that cellular differentiation was an irreversible process. One of the key proteins identified by Yamanaka, known as October 4, plays a critical role in the reprogramming process by activating other genes that are essential for maintaining an embryonic stem cell-like state. Together with other factors, such as SOX2, KLF4, and CMYC, October 4 facilitates the conversion of somatic cells into IPSCs with the potential to differentiate into any cell type in the body. The implications of Yamanaka's work are vast and profound. IPSCs have the potential to revolutionize regenerative medicine by providing a personalized approach to treating a wide range of diseases and injuries. By deriving IPSCs from a patient's own cells, the risk of rejection is greatly reduced, making them an ideal candidate for cell replacement therapies. Moreover, IPSCs hold promise for disease modeling, drug discovery, and toxicology testing. By generating IPSCs from patients with genetic disorders or complex diseases, researchers can study the underlying mechanisms of these conditions and develop targeted treatments. Additionally, IPSCs can be used to screen for potential drug candidates and assess their efficacy and safety. In conclusion, Shinya Yamanaka's pioneering work in the field of stem cell research has laid the foundation for a new era in regenerative medicine. His discovery of the reprogramming factors that can transform ordinary cells into pluripotent stem cells has opened up a world of possibilities for treating diseases and improving human health. The potential of IPSCs is limitless, and ongoing research in this area continues to uncover new therapeutic applications that have the potential to revolutionize medicine as we know it. In 2012, Japanese biologist Shinya Yamanaka was awarded a portion of the Nobel Prize in Physiology and Medicine for his discovery of a series of proteins capable of changing the configuration of ordinary, everyday cells, transforming them into super-versatile stem cells. These induced pluripotent stem cells, IPSCs, hold great promise for regenerative medicine and have the potential to revolutionize the treatment of various diseases. Yamanaka's groundbreaking research began in 2006 when he successfully reprogrammed adult mouse fibroblast cells into pluripotent stem cells by introducing a combination of just four transcription factors, October 3 quarters, SOX2, CMYC, and KLF4. This discovery marked a significant milestone in the field of stem cell biology and regenerative medicine, as it demonstrated that mature cells could be reverted back to their embryonic-like state, capable of differentiating into any cell type in the body. Since then, Yamanaka and his colleagues have continued to refine the IPSC technology, making it more efficient, safer, and suitable for clinical applications. In 2007, 
They succeeded in reprogramming human fibroblast cells into IPSCs, opening up the possibility of personalized medicine and patient-specific cell therapies. The potential applications of IPSCs are vast and varied, ranging from disease modeling and drug discovery to tissue regeneration and transplantation. These cells have the ability to mimic human diseases in a dish, allowing researchers to study disease mechanisms, test potential therapies, and develop personalized treatment strategies. IPSCs also offer a limitless supply of cells for transplantation, without the need for donor matching or immune suppression. In addition to their therapeutic potential, IPSCs have also been used to study developmental biology, aging, and disease mechanisms. By generating patient-specific IPSCs, scientists can recapitulate disease phenotypes in the lab, gaining valuable insights into the pathogenesis of various disorders, such as neurodegenerative diseases, cardiac disorders, and genetic disorders. To date, IPSC-based therapies have shown great promise in preclinical studies and early-phase clinical trials, with ongoing research focused on optimizing cell production, improving tissue engineering techniques, and establishing safety and efficacy profiles. While challenges remain, such as the risk of tumor formation, immune rejection, and genetic instability, the field of IPSCs continues to rapidly evolve, with the potential to transform the landscape of regenerative medicine in the coming years. In conclusion, Shinya Yamanaka's discovery of induced pluripotent stem cells has revolutionized the field of stem cell biology and regenerative medicine, offering new opportunities for the treatment of various diseases and conditions. The development of IPSC technology has opened up a world of possibilities for personalized medicine, disease modeling, and tissue regeneration, with the potential to impact human health and well-being in profound ways. As research in this exciting field progresses, we can expect to see continued advancements in IPSC-based therapies and a brighter future for patients in need of regenerative treatments.